Hello all, now we're at this uh, fourth video in the series and you might be wondering, what is an ogive? Well for one, it's not an ogive, it's an ogive, that's how you pronounce it. And I just wanted to take a quick couple of minutes to show you how to make an ogive in StackCrunch and I want to explain what it is briefly. This is going to be very closely related to the frequency polygon video. Um, which is third in the series and so you might want to take a look at that one uh, before you watch this one it could be helpful all right so here we go all right so again we're back in our shared data set from stack crunch we've got our dc comics we've got our heights of the different characters from the dc universe i bin them i made the minimum 61 and the width 25 and i got these classes over here with these frequencies. In the midpoint video, I told you to take the lower class, the lower limit, and put that in a column, and the upper limit, and we put that in a column, and we calculated the midpoint by adding the two together and dividing by two. Okay? Now, now that I have my midpoint, I can graph a frequency polygon, I can make a histogram, I can make a bar graph, there's all kinds of things that I can do here. If I want to make an ogive, I actually need the cumulative frequency. So just like we did before, I think in the first video, I'm going to go down to table. I'm going to go to frequency. I'm going to go ahead and click on the raw data height. This height right here are the classes. I don't want that one. Okay. And I want not the frequency or relative frequency, but I want the cumulative frequency. All right. Now remember, we have to make the bin value 60, and I have to make the width 25, and we're gonna store that in the data table so that I can call it for my um, scatter plot. okay? So we're gonna click on compute, and here we go. So now I have the cumulative frequencies, and these are gonna go up to uh, the maximum value, right? And so I'm gonna take three and add four to it, and that's how I get seven. 7 plus 83 is the 90, and so those things are important. Now, to have a true um, ogive, we need to start at the minimum value, and we need to have a cumulative frequency of 0 there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete, I'm going to click on that little arrow that pops up and click on delete column, and then here at the midpoint, I'm going to grab all of the data, I'm going to cut uh, on a PC, it's going to be control X and then I'm going to paste control V and then I'm going to set the midpoint to that minimum class value of 60. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to grab all of the data. I'm going to cut the data. I'm going to move it down one and paste it and I'm going to put a cumulative frequency of zero. I need to start at the lower class and I need to start at a zero. From here, it's just like the last video. We're going to graph on a scatter plot. I'm going to select the x variable. Remember, is the midpoint. The y variable is going to be the cumulative frequency this time. I'm going to scroll down. Remember, I don't want it to display as points. I want it to display as lines. And again, if I wanted to on the x-axis, I could put heights in centimeters. And on the y-axis, I can put frequency. I'm spelling better this time. Um, and you can put a title in, but I'm not going to. You can click on compute, and here it is. So you can see it's starting at zero. It goes up to three, and then it goes up to seven. So this ogive is actually a visual display of the cumulative frequency table. So the frequency polygon is a display of the frequency table. The ogive is a display of the cumulative frequency table. And it shows you at which places you get the most growth, the most change in your data. And that can be super duper helpful. All right, well that's it for this particular video. Again, if this was helpful to you, like and subscribe so that you can get more updates. Drop a comment. If you have topics for another video that you'd like me to do, and hopefully this was helpful, and if it was, that makes me happy.